dancing the rumba. Heinz Ward and his partner Kim Johnson. If tomorrow all the things were gone, I'd work for all my life. And I had to start again with just my family by my side. I thank my lucky stars to be living here today. Cause the flag still stands for freedom and they can't take that away. An officer and a gentleman. <laughs> Ease of move, musicality, and just the right amount of sensuality to make all the ladies swoon. <laughs> well played. Heinz, you make it look so easy. I'm, I'm getting worried because it's like looking so easy for you, but that's a good thing. You have the best hip action I have seen <laughs> in a long time. Maybe I shouldn't say that. You like well, I well, liked the hip action. It was very good, and it was very romantic. It's okay. tough to do proud to be American, and then the most sensual dance of the night. Yeah. Yeah. Good job, yeah. <laughs> Len. How far would you go? Well, I wouldn't go that far, but anyway, what I like—it's not forced. It has a naturalness about it. It's got an ease and an elegance which is charming, and I—I I think probably for me, that's your best dance. So well done. Congratulations. Three for three. Hans and Kim have some scores coming up after the break. Could we have a three-way tie here? We'll find out. And then our American Week dances will continue with the three women who had everyone talking last week, for better or worse. Which one of them will perform the 1,000 dance? I'm okay with breaking every single rule. It's funny you say that, because I was going to keep this one straight edge. Mark. Give it some power. Like, boom. All right. Go. <laughs> Thank you. She said, it's almost like you're afraid of elegance. I'm not afraid of elegance. Welcome back to Dancing with the Stars. It's American Week. Before the break, Heinz and Kim danced a romantic rumba. Now, I heard that you were rehearsing at home this week without Kim. Yes. How did you manage that? Yeah, I was making uh, pillow love. I was slinging oh. my pillow <laughs> everywhere. But Kim and I, during the week of practice, it was so unromantic. Yeah, it was, it was like an a unromantic week of rehearsals because we kept bumping into each other when I was trying, we were trying to be romantic, but it just wasn't working. So I'm glad it actually worked tonight. Yes. Well, let's see if you fooled the judges tonight. <laughs> Here's your scores, guys. Good luck. Ladies and gentlemen, the judges' scores. Carrie Ann Inabo. Nine. Len Goodman. Nine. Bruno Tonio. Nine. That's 27 out of 30, which is your highest score ever and also the highest score of the night. How do you guys feel? That is so crazy. That is so... I never would imagine that. You did that. the romance. Yeah, I did. Congratulations, you guys. You. Don't assume that anyone is safe on judges' scores alone. They want you to use up all of your votes right now. Don't wait until the phone lines are closed. You know what to do. Give them what they want right now. Call, text, and log on to abc.com. Good luck, you guys. Congratulations. Tom.